Radio gang, part two. Loads to tell you, so I'm going to uh, do away with all the pleasantries. Done all that in the first, I'm going to crack on, mate. Uh, plenty of tea needed. This part's going to separate the men from the boys and the, uh, the ladies from the maybes. Uh, it's also, I'm also going to give you some handy tips um, about using levers to undo uh, tricky bolts because this is. This is the part of the job, part two is the hardest part of the job. And if you can do this bit, if you can get past this bit, you're winning, yeah? And you, you're gonna finish the job off, no problem at all, okay? So, we'll go, I'll start off from where I finished, the drive shaft. Like I say, we've got this bit down. My God, this weather's just shocking, eh? British summertime. Lovely, lovely, anyway, that's enough about the weather. Right, okay, so, try and set the camera up. Oh my God. Oh, I'll tell you what, sometimes I want to slap my career, career, career advisor. Why would anyone want to sit in the rain? Alright, okay. I'm going to get some light on the situation. Hopefully. A little bit. Oh, I don't know that's doing anything really. Right, okay. Hi, gang. Right, I think we can just about see what I want you to see. So that is the track rod there. So I'm just finding out where everything is. I think I'll have to hold this. Right, okay. I'll just hold it. This here is your drive shaft, and that was the bit that came out of, that we pushed out of that hub, okay? So now it's dangling, and I said that you needed to drain the, drain the gearbox oil, which I've done, which was from a little plug there, where my finger is, just there. There's a little 24 mil sump uh, plug there that you undo. Drain the oil, put it back in, tighten it up once you've done it so you don't forget afterwards. And then it's this part here we need to take out. So what you need to do to get this out is you need to get a bar like, uh, like this one. A bar like that. And one of these kind of ends on it. And where you need to go with this, you need to go underneath here, under your wishbone. And you see here the bar's coming up. You need to go underneath there, okay, and try and get behind the casting of your drive shaft, okay. And then you just need to you need either kick it with your foot, sit there and kick it, um, bang it with your hand. But you need to get some uh, a good leverage point you need, which you'll get on the casting of the gearbox. But your pin needs to be behind that the casting of the drive shaft solidly. Um, when you give it a kick. It will come off eventually, you know, it might take a bit of kicking, it might take a bit of pushing or banging or whatever. You know, you might need to use a different bar. Sometimes one of these ones works, yeah? A smaller one, or sometimes a larger one, whatever. Just try it, get behind it. I've, put, I've already popped this one off, so once it pops off, it pulls out like that. Like so, and there you go. And that's the part that you're trying to get, this is the part here that you're trying to get behind with your bar, okay? So you put your bar behind there and force this out. And what's stopping it, what's making it so difficult, is that little clip there, okay? It's just a little spring-loaded clip that sits outside of it. It's just a little bit bigger and it keeps your drive shaft in. And it keeps that all sealed up so your oil don't come out. Right, so that's your drive shaft out and that's that part completely done. I've took that cover off that I was talking about. That was just a few bolts. Um, I'll show you that now, actually, just so you've got everything there. Oh, little tub, plastic tub for engine oil, uh, for gearbox oil. You'll save that and we'll put that back in because that was nice and clean. If anyone can give me any tips on how to use old engine oil and what it can be used for, I'd love that, please. That would be really, a really fantastic um, suggestion for me because I've got loads of old engine oil and I've heard there's some uses for it. So if you can, if anyone any ideas on that. Um, right, here's that undercover. That's just there, okay? So you can see on there where the bolt where the bolt holes are, one there, one there, and two there. And then that comes off, that's out of the way. That gives us total clearance around here now for when the gearbox comes out. As you can see, I've put a few jacks under there, but we're not there yet. you just got to pretend they're not there, okay? So we ain't done that yet. So then we come to this bit, and as this was, you've got your battery there that sits here. Take your battery leads off. Now, negative off, off first, with negatives, off first, on last where batteries are concerned, okay? Because once you've took your negative off, 
it doesn't matter if you touch the body and the spanner against this terminal while taking it off. It won't arc out and it won't scare the bejesus out of you, okay? So negatives, off first, on last, okay? There you go, handy little tip for batteries. So you've got your battery out of the way. Uh, there's two clamps uh, on that one, just one hook's in there and that, there's a strap that goes, oh sorry, <laughs> there's a strap that goes over the top and you just take that off, that releases your battery. Battery comes out, jobs are good. And normally this plate would be able to, you'd be able to take this plate out and reveal, sorry, You'll be able to set this plate out and reveal the whole of the whole of the top of the gearbox. But on this one, you can't. The plate's there, but it's no real problem. Um, okay, so there's your battery. Battery's over there. The only other thing I had to remove was the airbox. Uh, that fits here. Um, I'll, I'll bring that over. May as well. I may as well. I think I charge the battery up on this. There you go. Two clips. One, two. Give it a wiggle. That pops out of there. Where are we? There. That pops out of there. Okay. So, and then that, take that to the side. Take it away. Oh, uh, cover your air filter over from the rain as well. Right, okay, now we're on the good bit. So, now you've revealed everything and you've got all the room you are going to get. Right, handy little tip. First one is with bolts. Now, there's a lot of bolts to remove and my memory's not the greatest. So what I like to do is, I'll just position that there a second. Okay, and if it'll let me, there's that bolt there, you see? Right, that is for your um, for your slave cylinder that controls your clutch. This is the this is a copper tube, and you don't want to bend this, squeeze it, kink it or anything. So you want this out of the way because you're going to take that slave cylinder off in a minute anyway. So you undo that bolt. Now with your bolts, just pop them back. Pop them back in the holes, just there you go, they're not going to get in the way, you're not going to lose them and you're going to know where everything goes because there'll be a loose bolt there and you'll know that something goes there, okay? So it's a good way of doing that, it's a good way of uh, not losing all the bolts. Right, okay, next one is your reverse sensor. Okay, so you need to take this lead off, your gearbox is going to come out, that lead's out of the way. Okay, next, on to your gear lever linkages, okay? Now, originally, this had a washer now when I like to do these videos, I like to take all these off and show you show you the parts independently because sometimes it just makes makes describing it a lot easier. Now that's the clip that fits, if you can see where my fingers are going, in that hole there. It fits in a hole just there. And that's called a split pin, yeah? And that sits through there like that. Now to take that off, you've obviously got to prise that hooked end to the side and pull that pin out. Now you pull that pin out, Take the washer off the top, just being careful not to lose them, and then that pulls off there like that. Okay, I've already done this one down here, so that's done. Now, then you've got this bracket here, because that is bolted onto there with those bolts there. Okay, now this car, this particular car, they've, they've chose to use 12 mil bolts, 14 mil bolts, and I think that's it for the top. So 12 and 14s really. They're 12 mils. Now for this, it would, they're a bit tricky to get to, but look, just uh, this is why I like to use a quarter drive set rather than a three eighth drive set. Because with a quarter drive ratchet, that, that's a three eighth drive ratchet, and it's too big, to, too big to get down there. Okay. So with a spanner or a quarter drive ratchet, 14 mil socket on it, you need to feed your hands down the back of here. Okay. Can you see my hand? Where's my Wiggly hand, right? Well, it's behind there anyway, okay? So you need to get a socket behind there, and there's one, two, there's three bolts holding that on, which I'll show you in a minute. And once you've took them off, which you can get to all of them on from the top of the car, okay? So then that moves out of the way, and you can get your gear linkages right out of the way. Because they're just cables inside there, like, like bicycle gear cables, nothing different. And that reveals the engine man, oh sorry, the, well yeah, the engine and gearbox mounting. This is this one here that I've already started to remove. Now before you do that, you've got to take off your starter motor, which is here. Let me get my torch so you can see. Uh, wherever I've put the damn thing. Ooh, I was organised a minute ago, tell me. I was, I was, I was. Where's that torch gone? Here it is. 
There she is. Right, okay. So, yeah, that's a bit of light. Good, good. See if I can position that there. All right, okay. Not very much luck with this torch. All right. There we are. Right, there's your starter motor. You see see the casting of it, see the bolt hole there? That fits into the back of the gearbox. And the bolts come from this way here. So the bolt hole is just underneath that spanner. I've left that spanner there for a reason to show you something. But there's one bolt hole there. So there's a, it's this one here. 14 mil bolt there. That one out, okay. So you took that out. There is another one that you get to for the starter motor to get the second one out, which is uh, that hole there where my finger is, this one here. You get to that underneath. You have to go underneath to undo the second starter motor bolt. Now, the starter motor is the reason you take your battery leads off because there's the, there is the main power cables going to your starter motor. So you don't want that flapping around all over the place and arcing out against the body. Right, okay, so that's your starter motor off. Um, this is why you don't put the jacks and everything underneath first on your gearbox and engine because you need them out of the way so you can get underneath and do all that. Now, this pipe was a real tricky one to get to. So what I found you had to do was take a spanner like this and I, luckily I've got dumpy spanners. Now, you might need to buy a set of dumpy spanners but look, it's going to be a lot cheaper than going to the garage and getting the clutch done. So, you need to fit that spanner on there and then what you need to do is you need to take um, a ball or a screwdriver, whatever will fit in between the casting here, what I'm tapping on, and that spanner and there. Now, with both hands, I can't do this now because I've, I've got to hold the camera, but with both hands you hold the ring so it stays on top of the nut that you're undoing, yeah? And you squeeze that down with the top of your thumb, and while you do that, you pull on the, on the, um, on the screwdriver or the bar that you've got in between, and you use that as a lever, and you'll get a lot more power, and you'll be able to undo that bolt. Now, once that's come undone slightly, it should be finger tight, and then you can just literally wind it out with your finger. No, not in this case, not in this case. So I'll have to undo that with a, with a um, a 14 mil ratchet, but I can get behind it now, and it's easy. It's easy to move. It's just getting that first, first bit undone because everything's very tight on this car for some reason. Oh, there you go. Well, there's the nut anyway. So that's that bit. Right then, you have now these are your main. That one there that I'm shining on that bolt there. They are your main mounting bolts that that bolt the gearbox to the engine. Now you want to. You can loosen these off but you want to leave them in, okay? These are the last things we're gonna take out. So, okay, so that's reverse sensor done. Um, the gearbox mountings we don't touch until we've got the jacks underneath. So we'll ignore that bit for now. On the top, we've removed, yeah, we've removed all the cables. We've slackened this off. We're gonna remove that so that's flexible and out of the way. Now, this here, down here, let me get the torch again. That here is your slave cylinder. Now that pipe, goes, this pipe here, goes back to your clutch pedal. And when you press your clutch pedal, the fluid goes through there, and the piston inside there pushes out. Sorry, the piston inside there pushes, and pushes against this lever here, and that opens and closes your clutch. Um, some of these nowadays, or most of these nowadays, are internal, and they're inside the engine, which is a, uh, sorry, inside the gearbox, which is a bit of a bummer. But hey ho, it is what it is. Um, they all work well. So I'll show you what goes on inside there anyway. So what that is, there's a plate that went over the top. Um, I don't really need to tell you this because this is too specific to the vehicle. But there's a plate that went over the top, two 12 mil bolts, and then there was these two 12 mils here. Now, when you take these off, it's there's pressure behind it. Okay. So don't worry though. But what you don't want to do is open the system up. You don't want to open the fluid system up, because that's, um, yeah, you can look at me while I'm, I'm just doing, undoing that bolt. Hello, as you can see, hold on, uh, raining, Eek. horrible. Right, I'm just undoing that bolt. Right, okay, there you go, back to, the, back to the job. So that's those two bolts out. Now that's there. I'll just torch you in my mouth. Okay, so that's off now. 
Mm. Wiggle around like that. There you are. Take the torch out of my mouth. There you are. Can wiggle that about. There you go. Now, that's not going to leak. It's not going to do anything. It's going to be safe there. It's out of the way. As soon as I get that bolt off, that will be, I'll be able to cable tie that up to this, this pipe here. And that will be totally out of the way. I won't be able to harm it, bend it, or anything like that. So, okay. There's another main bolt that went in there that I've undone for now because you only need one of them in. Okay, so we'll leave, we've left that top one in, we've loosened it off, we've undone that one, same size, I think the nine, set, no, 17 mils though that they are, 17 millimeter. You want your power bar for them because they are tight. Um, right, that's the top done. Right, okay, we're now running out of battery, as bloody usual with this camera. Right, okay, so we've gone underneath, uh, we've drained the oil. Oh, now we are going to need, I think we're going to need. A bit of light on the situation. Okay, let me get you settled. Right. There we go. Right, I think. Okay, that's a cool angle. Right, there we go. That's my stands and my gearbox and all the rest of it. Um, right, what have I got to tell you? Right, here we go. So, we've took that drive shaft out. We've got all the tops set up, the tops ready. Now, on this part, you've got what you've got to do is once you've got your starter motor bolts out and everything's done like that and you've done underneath the next thing you want to do is support, start supporting your engine so you put the jack under here always use pads because this is aluminium and this is a small jack so it, you don't want to pop a hole in it and all the rest of it so always use little pads now you just want to jack this up gently with the mounting still on yeah and raise this up so you can get a, a chock of wood and an axle stand under the engine casting now, behind here, underneath here, you'll see two halves, two faces like that, yeah? Okay, so I've stuck the axle stand on this face here, all right? So when the gear gearbox separates from the engine, that's still gonna be supported, okay? Right, so there's your, that's where you support that. So we're ready now to take the gearbox mountings off because I've left this one here. There's hardly any weight on that, right? So I've just supported the weight of it now. Now we're gonna start taking the gearbox mounts off and then that's pretty much it guys the next time you'll see well the next time we'll be watching this is when I'll be pulling the gearbox <laughs> I'll be uh, removing the gearbox and we'll be taking the clutch out and I'll show you how to fit the clutch uh, the gearbox mounts there's three one two three all four oh, sorry one two three all 14 mil you'll need a power bar for those um, round the back, I've found the best way to take the the the, um, the rear mounting off, which I'll take you up there in a second actually, because there's a couple of bolts that I want to show you. Well, in fact, I'll show you from the back. Now, there's the bolt hole there. Yeah. Now behind that is a bolt that goes in there, uh, 14 mil again. Now because those bolt holes are exposed, these two here are a pig to undo. Very very tight. There's two more around there. Uh, let me show you, there's, there's uh, one more 14 there, if I get my finger in the right place, here, next to the other end of the axle stand. And then, where you can see this second drive shaft, I need my torch now, I believe. Let me, let me come out again, let me come out again, find my torch. Oh god, I'm soaking wet, absolutely bloody soaking. Alright, uh, right there. Uh, just uh, with, a, with a silver band around it, that's the other drive shaft to the other wheel. Right, okay. Just above that is a big bolt that goes through. Let's see if I can. Yeah, I can't stand up. Right. Ah, la, 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 la. See if we can turn that around. Right. Just above there is a bolt that goes from there to there, okay? it's I think it's somewhere around where my finger is, and there's a bolt that goes in there that you just take out, okay? Uh, that's another 19mm bolt. You, once you're under there with all the jacks out of the way, I mean that's something you'd take out before you put your jacks in to be honest, this bellizing bolt at the bottom. You can take all of these bellizing bolts out at the bottom. There's probably about four or five of them in total, I'll say it like that really. All of these bellizing bolts, because you'll see them once you're under there, before you put your jacks in, you can take all of them out because your gearbox is bolted to your engine by that top bolt, okay? It's still supported by the jack, by the jack and the mountings until we remove them, so you're safe, all right? So take all those ringer bolts out, take you to um, support your engine, support your gearbox, 
then remove your mountings okay so I've loosened all these bolts off here here and here I'm gonna show you now the top bolt you don't need to take the exhaust off on this one um, other than that we're pretty much ready gang okay so I just take you here right now engine mounting in fact I'll get my torch to see you've got a good view uh, wherever I put it there she is shining away okay right engine mounting there at the back engine gearbox mounting now you've got a couple of bolts there's one there where I'm tapping my torch you can undo those ones which it would be better if you could because it would uh, there'd be less brackets attached to the gearbox to catch all the other uh, parts of the car when it comes off so really ideally you want this bracket off but I think what I'll do on in this case I've undone the center bolt to the rubber mounting which is if I can, which is that bolt there perfect that bolt there I've undone that one so I'll take that out now now this will be oh, well this will be this side of the gearbox unsupported now so okay so that's 14 mil it's a captivated nut on the other side so you just need the socket on there that's easy to get to it's really easy to get to now that it won't give me uh, I won't be able to pull the gearbox backwards like that or I will but it'll be a slight struggle so I can either um, undo the bolts under here actually I can go where the casting of this rubber mount is on the subframe underneath the car there's just two bolts they're quite rusty so I didn't really want to touch them um, I will if I have to but you know there's plenty of ways to take this bracket off but at the end of the day that bracket's got to come off okay nuts and bolts on and off I'm not explaining it all to you all right there's more important issues at hand so okay so there's your end there's that rear gearbox man off okay so that's done that part's done we've got everything off removed I need to take this little bolt out of here in fact I'm gonna do that while we're on cam because there's not much to show oh no oh, that's a 12 mil no I'm not because it's a 12 mil and that's down there somewhere so okay so we've got that mounting off in fact let's take this mounting off now so here we go back under the car so we're going to take the front gearbox mounting off as you can see I've loosened all these off and my foot is in a big ass puddle I can feel the water trickling down my toes onto my heel I'm wetting my socks ah, la 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 but I love my job <laughs> you've got to learn to laugh and sing all right so as you can see on our get in there shall we have a little whistle oh a bit of water's just gone right in my eye oh what a shot what a shot right in the eyeball oof that was a good one oof right okay I just oh I don't know what we got almost got me again right okay this is fun right, I've got water splatting on my nose and my eyes now so I'll be quick that's the second bolt out right okay third bolt oh right the third bolt because it's the last one is tight it's tight tight like, oh, I keep getting splattered in the eye, sorry guys. Right, okay, so this is the last front gearbox mounting bolt, okay? So let's undo that. Now, the gearbox is unsupported now, once I took this bolt out. Sorry if I'm kicking the camera about, but you're not the one with the foot in the, foot in the puddle. So, I think you've got the better half of the deal. Sorry this is taking so long. I should I didn't realise these bolts were so long. But it's almost out, two seconds. See my fingers at work there. He must be very tactile with this job. Very tactile, very patient. Ambidextrous. All of it. Right there. You are. That's the gearbox man out of the way. That gearbox now is rocking, baby. We are rocking. So the gearbox now is held in by that bolt there and that bolt at the top and that's it and it's supported by that jack there right I don't think the battery is going to give me much more on the camera um, the next time you join me we will be ooh. 
removing the gearbox. I want to charge the camera up a bit. I want to remove those two bolts. I've got, like I say, I've got that bolt there to remove. That one I've just showed you down there. Once that's done, this gearbox is ready to ready to remove. Now, what will happen is I'll undo those two bolts, um, and because it's all supported and steady, nothing will happen, and you won't see anything. And what I'll have to do is I'll have to just stick a bar in between there. Oh, sorry, in between there the casting of the engine and the casting of the gearbox and I'll just prise it off and you'll see it will just pop off um, and then you've just got to, well then it comes the heavy part of the job uh, this is where you really you should have a trolley jack to do it no excuses, I should have a trolley jack but I haven't so I just have to be a bit of a, a gorilla and manhandle this one out and lower it to the floor uh, yeah, beefcake style Right, all right, um, but yeah, I'm going to charge this camera up now. I'm going to have a slurp of my tea and all of that. It's going cold. Mm. Just caught me tea in time. <laughs> right, yeah, okay, so I don't think there was many new tools for that. Uh, there was the spike bar. There was the 24mm spanner for the, uh, the oil drain plug, which you must tighten up once you've drained the oil. Don't leave it till the end, because that's the last thing you want to forget to do. So, you know tighten the oil plug up once you've drained the oil up because you've done that job you're going to fill it from a different place anyway so you may as well uh, right okay yeah i'm going to undo that bolt that was it I was gonna, i'm going to undo that now get that out of the way and that's his job done uh right okay cool i'll see you in part three for ripping this baby to pieces see you later gang <laughs>